Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Himanshu Gupta and today we are going to discuss why you should choose anesthesia as a branch. What are the future prospects of anesthesia and what is the lifestyle in anesthesia? Today I have with me Dr. Abhijit who is a third year PG resident in Molana Zad Medical College. So he will be sharing with us the views, the opinions about anesthesia. Hello everyone, uh, recently many of you wanted to know how the branch anesthesia is as your postgraduate. So after the, this video, you'll be able to make a concrete decision whether you want to go ahead for the branch anesthesia or not. So before the main discussion, I would like to tell you uh, about some data from the MCI website. According to MCI website, there is total of 2,500 MD anesthesia seats all over India and almost 1,600 diploma seats all over India. I could not gather any uh, proper number for DNB seat that comes around more than 5,000 seats all over India. So there is a good chance that if you score uh, a rank between 10,000 to 15,000, you may get a branch in India. But if you, t if you are planning to take diploma anesthesia branch, please make sure you have further plans of specialization as MD or DNB because only diploma anesthesia won't give you much benefit. So going into main discussion, I would like to divide the discussion in four parts. How the branch anesthesia as such? What are the further career opportunities in the branch? How is the money in the branch and how will your personal life will be if you take anesthesia as your post graduation. So coming to how is the branch, uh, we are no more called as anesthesiologist. We are being called perioperative physician. As we see the patient in pre anesthetic clinic, we see them in OT, even we see them in post-operative uh, anesthesia care units and in ICUs. So as an anesthesiologist, we will be working not only in OTs, in emergencies, in ICUs, in uh, pain clinics in wards and even in radiology suits where you have to provide anesthesia for patients who are undergoing radiology services. So as an anesthesiologist you have to deal with a wide variation of patients like you have to deal with a premature infant child who is only 1 kilo as well as you have to deal with a patient who is as old as 100 years of age. So there will be a lot of physiological variation of patients what you are getting. The branch anesthesia is not about providing gases and drugs. You have to see them preoperatively. You have to cross check the diagnosis. You have to take history. You have to do examination. You have to see the investigation reports, CD scan, MRI. You have to deal with all the all the blood investigation you have in your hand. What will be your preoperative concerns? Every patient will be different for you. How much drug you have to give, how you have to give and you have to plan how you will give the patient a proper analgesia so that patient will not feel any pain before and after surgery. So these all things are challenging. It gives you a lot of adrenaline rush and it gives you immense job satisfaction. So job satisfaction is definitely guaranteed in the branch. I can assure you that. All the branches need anesthesia services. Even if a surgery is going on in a local anesthesia, patient may land up in local anesthesia toxicity. So as an anesthesiologist, uh, you have to go hand in hand with every surgical branch. So you'll be having only a three minute time before the patient lands up in permanent brain damage. So you have to act promptly and dynamically to save the patient. Not only in operation theaters, you have to work in radiology suits also. If the patient moves during MRI or CT scan, radiologists won't be happy and they won't get a good scan. So you have to sedate the patient and make them comfortable in the radiology suit so that the effective scanning can take place. Not only in OT and radiology suits, you have to deal with critical patients in ICU where you will be dealing with various kind of uh, moribound patients whom you have to treat and manage and take them out of ICU and out of rest. As an anesthesiologist, this gives you immense pleasure to treat all those moribound patient and take them out of danger. In the branch you have to uh, provide analgesia service means you have to work in pain clinics you have to make the patient who are in pain and make them comfortable and pain free. So this also gives you a good job satisfaction. So many people say that uh, anesthesia is a dull branch so I can assure you it is not a dull branch it's very dynamic and the job satisfaction is guaranteed for this branch. There are some cons of the branch also it is a setup based branch you need a, a proper setup to work in the OTs and ICUs or in pain clinics. If you see it from the other side, you'll be seeing that a setup also needs you. Without an anesthesiologist, no medical setup can run on its own. Another drawback of the branch is the majority of the patient you deal with are admitted in other specialties. For the certain period of time, you'll be treating them, you'll be giving them back to their specialities. So you put a lot of effort to the patient, but the clinical recognition is a little less in India. You will become unsung heroes, but that the amount of clinical recognition you want that may not be there. Coming to career opportunities uh, in the branch of anesthesia, there are a lot of there is a lot of super specialization that are there. Uh, uh, what you can pursue after doing your MD anesthesia or DNB anesthesia. There are neuro anesthesia, pediatric anesthesia, cardiac anesthesia, transplant anesthesia. Again, you can drift away to critical care and pain medicine. There are multiple medical colleges and institutions coming up all over the country. So getting a job is never a difficult part for the anesthesiologist. Uh, I have seen five batches of anesthesiologists. Uh, none of them had any 
dearth of jobs. But at the same time, there are a lot of seats currently in India and the metros are getting saturated. But still, if you go to peripheries, there are a lot of scope uh, for, for anesthesiologists to work up. If, uh, even if you want to go abroad, the scope for anesthesiologists are pretty good. You can easily go to UK and Middle East and practice anesthesia decent. One of the important part is as an anesthesiologist, you have to work in every department of the hospital. May it be emergency, OT, ICU, radiological suit. So you'll be having a good knowledge about how a hospital administration works. So if you have an entrepreneurial mind, it's very easy for you guys to go ahead and put your own hospital setup an ICU or a pain clinic. Another important aspect is after doing anesthesia, you can teach people about advanced airway management, life support skills. Coming to the monetary aspect, there is decent money in the branch. The more you work, the more you earn. But if you practice only anesthesia, there is a little capping. You cannot earn like 10 lakh, 15 lakh, 20 lakh. But if you go into uh, critical care management and if you go into pain management, you can definitely earn more. Simultaneously, if you are planning for any putting your own setup, there is no limit to earn. Another important aspect, what you think of before taking a branch is how your personal life will be if you take anesthesia. So as an anesthesiologist, you will be having plenty of time for yourself and your extracurricular activities. As a PG resident, your work schedule will be less hectic than your other colleagues like who are working in medicine, surgery and ortho or gynae. So you'll be having plenty of time for yourself. And after doing post-graduation, it depends on you how much you want to do and how much you want to work. Even though the money is good in critical care, the work schedules are also hectic for critical care. So to sum up, if you love challenge, if you like adrenaline rush, if you uh, want a good time and money balance and if you have an entrepreneur mind please go ahead and take anesthesia but before taking anesthesia as your post graduation you have to consider four things whether the seat is permitted or recognized how the teaching is in your hospital where you want to take post graduation how hands on training you will get over there and how super speciality exposure you will get in that call. So advice from my side will be go to your UG college, go to your nearby medical college or go to the institution where you want to take the post graduation. Go there, go there, visit the OTs, visit the ICU, visit the pain clinic, see how things work around and get the feel whether you like the branch or not. By these, you'll get a good estimation whether we'll be able to deal with the branch or not in later in life. Most importantly, please don't regret after taking the branch. This branch is awesome. That will give you good job satisfaction.